So in one night, in one night, uh, no, you know, two nights prior, right? Or one night prior, one night prior, everything's fine. We're cl closing in on our deal. We're ready to go. One night. So the following night, all of my friendships have ended. Leonardo DiCaprio is going to blow the film up and destroy it. Um, and unbeknownst to me, it's irreconcilable. It is because because what Toby really deployed was a, a classic uh, uh, you know, interrogation technique. You know, uh, he wore me down to completely nothing, and then. We got to work, man. We flew to New York, and that was, and we got we got invited to New York to screen for Miramax, and that was fucking amazing. And they loved it, and they were going to put an offer in. And you know, uh, not knowing the monster Harvey Weinstein was to me, he was just an independent film god at that point. I mean, this guy was the it was the Renaissance. Yeah, he was uh, the man. Yeah. Uh, he was the man, and uh, he wanted to buy my movie, dude. And uh, so I was out of my fucking mind. I mean, um, we got a three-picture verbal offer from Jersey Films, Danny DeVito's company. Um, they gave us a three-picture offer. They were like, we want to produce your next three movies uh, with you know a seven-figure budget. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it was Tobey Maguire, man. I, I mean, everything was going great. Uh, I, I was I I I was kind of probably a a, a problem for the film because uh, tr uh, Trimark, which uh, was later acquired by uh, Lionsgate, they offered us one point and they put out kids. Uh, they offered us a uh, one and a half million dollars, and I just didn't like the deal, and I didn't like the company, and it was a mistake. I, I made a mistake, Jack, big mistake. And I was a producer, and my voice was heard, and I stomped, and uh, I wanted Miramax. I wanted to be a Harvey Weinstein kid. I wanted what. Smith had and Rodriguez had. And Miramax and are, are very interested at this point, are they? Oh, they, they, they want the movie. They, right. they, want, they, 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 they have an offer on the table. So you're in, a, you're in the perfect position where it feels like you've got a choice, right? Yeah, I mean, we have many choices. Yeah. But the, the ones that we were serious about were Trimark and Miramax yes. in first look. And um, I wanted Miramax. Miramax offered, a, a, the, the deal was shittier, but I, I wanted to get in that network. I wanted to, like, you know... I was like, dude, we get we get produced, but we, Weinstein puts us out. We have a we have our friends, and then the whole Miramax family. And you know, if I'm not set for the rest of my life, who is? Because I'm done, bro. That's fucking, yeah. you know, punch me out. I'm gonna yeah. make great film. I'm gonna make great film. I'm I'm not, I'm gonna because you know, great film is made by great people, not great per, not not a great person. Yeah, Martin Scorsese true. films are not Martin Scorsese films. We know this. Totally. We're just so I just knew that I was gonna be surrounded by the best of the best of the best of the best, and I knew that I could contribute to the best of the best. I already did. And so let's go. You know what I mean? That's 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 what it felt like for me. It was like let's go. Uh, you know. Then Toby uh, showed up with a box of macaroni and a torch, and uh, and he lit this thing afire. And that's you know that's sort of what led to uh, the madness. So, so that sort of twelve hour thing with Toby, he fed. He obviously fed straight back to Leo, right, and planted that seed and said everything he needed to say to make. Things well, that that morning, that morning he called. Uh, uh, t yeah, Toby went to to, to to Leo. He called Toby. Called a meeting which we now refer to or which we later refer to as the, the verbal bludgeoning. And that was, that took place in Burbank at Kevin Connolly's house, Kevin Connolly, Artie Robb, myself, Leo DiCaprio, McGuire, Ethan Suplee and Scott Bloom. Uh, Kristen Zhang, Leo's girlfriend at the time, Nikki Cox, Kevin Connolly's girlfriend at the time, also present but not in the room. And, uh, and that that verbal bludgeoning was the end. It was the last time I saw them as friends. Wow. Uh, and um, so in one night, in one night, uh, no, you know, two nights prior, right? Or one night prior. One night prior, everything's fine. We're cl closing in on our deal. We're ready to go. One night. The following night, all of my friendships have ended. Leonardo DiCaprio is going to blow the film up and destroy it. Um, and unbeknownst to me, it's irreconcilable yeah like there's no there's not even a conversation like i never again spoke to leonardo dicaprio one-on-one -on -one about it i never spoke the only person i spoke to after i did speak to ethan uh and kevin connelly a few times but i never spoke again to leo about it uh and really i, I never really spoke to toby again either uh there i had one brief conversation with him how long was, how long was that conversation which one the the verbal bludgeoning it lasted hours, right. uh, two, three hours. It was so horrible. And it was it was, the, a, it was an aggressive time from the outset. This part of the book, this 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 part of the book is like a fucking Lars von Trier movie, dude. Like it's 
is because because what Toby really deployed was a a classic uh, uh, you know, interrogation technique. You know, uh, he wore me down to completely nothing and then got that one tidbit of information that gave him everything he needed to to blow to blow everything up and created distrust between Leo and us that would could never be repaired again.